Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are doing episode 12 of the Fortnite Mythbusters. In today's episode, the brand new C4 was released as well as supply llamas hiding around the map. In today's episode of Mythbusters, there are multiple myths including both of the brand new items. But before we get into the video, comment down one thing you like about Fortnite and one thing you dislike about Fortnite. Personally, I love how the Fortnite developers bring new skins and updates to us almost every single week, but I really hate when I get second place due to me being blown off the map by an impulse grenade. Also, I drew the 1000 V-Bucks giveaway winner last night. Make sure to check the description to see if you win or not. I am now giving away another 1000 V-Bucks to a lucky winner. To enter, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video, and turn on post notifications. I'll be joining the winner very soon, so make sure to be active on future videos. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right on in to today's video. To begin, the first myth is, can a C4 stick to a soccer ball or a basketball? When I tested this in game, I was lagging a little bit, but the C4 actually does not stick to the basketball. The C4 just acts as if the basketball isn't even there and it just goes straight through it and lands on the ground. After I pushed the basketball back right on top of the C4 once again, I wanted to see if the ball would move when it explodes. Similar to the impulse grenade myth we did in a past Mythbusters episode, where we tried to see if the ball would actually move from an impulse grenade explosion, when the C4 exploded, it had no effect on the basketball. If I ever do get the chance, I will attempt the same exact thing with the C4 and I will definitely put the results on my Twitter since it doesn't need to be included in a future Mythbusters episode. The next myth is, can you shoot the C4 to make it explode? When I tested this in game, I threw a C4 on the side of the barn at Fatal Fields and shot it with my sniper from a good distance. Surprisingly, the C4 actually did explode from the bullet. With you being able to do this now, this opened doors to so many new plays that you can pull off while playing Fortnite. One play I'm definitely going to be attempting while playing is making a decoy base with a loot inside of it and camp on a hill with a sniper. When I see an enemy or even a squad run up to the base, I will shoot the C4 and see if I could even get like a double kill, maybe a triple kill, possibly a whole entire squad wipe just from one C4 explosion. Also, I wanted to do a quick interruption in today's video. I wanted to shout out Isaac Linux Champion. He was the first comment on my last video. I do notice my first comments and from now on, I'm going to be shouting out my first comments in the middle of my videos. But anyways, let's get into the next myth. The next myth is, what happens when you explode a C4 on a Supply Llama? In game, Supply Llamas are actually pretty difficult to find as well a C4 in the exact same game. When I tested this in game, the C4 was actually able to stick to the llama unlike the basketball or the soccer ball. Sadly, when you explode the C4, the llama doesn't explode either, nor does it move. The llama just basically acts like an airdrop or just like a regular wall. You are actually not able to shoot through the llama, nor I don't even think you are able to destroy the llama with your pickaxe. The only way to get rid of it is by opening it. But I may be entirely wrong, I only have been able to find one llama so far, so I haven't had the chance to like pickaxe it to see if you can break it. But when I actually did open the supply llama, I got a ton of ammo, a ton of materials, like 500 of each, and even a shield to top it off. Let me know what you guys think about this brand new item being added into Fortnite. I think it's honestly pretty cool and it adds more variety other than regular supply drops. The next myth is, can you dance or emote while rocket riding? When you are rocket riding, you are basically on an invisible box which is also the rocket. Rockets in Fortnite are different than any other type of bullets. Rockets basically have their own hitbox, so they are able to collide and blow up in midair and you are actually able to stand on it if you didn't know already. To sum it up, whilst rocket riding, you are actually able to dance and emote. A YouTuber by the name of Lachlan was breakdancing while rocket riding and was at one point riding the rocket on his player's hand. When rocket riding, it's the exact same as if you were standing on the regular floor. So you could do every single thing the exact same. You can turbo build, which is basically where you're building at the exact same time as you're rocket riding. You could do emotes, you could shoot, you could throw grenades, you could do every single thing as if you were standing on the regular floor. The next myth is, what happens when you score a goal with a soccer ball from a different field? 
In Fortnite, when you score a goal with the soccer ball, it has its own goal explosion and the score actually resets or changes. So will this exact same thing happen with a soccer ball from a different field? Every time I attempted this on my own, the ball would always glitch out and despawn when I would get near the field or even far away from its original spawning point. A YouTuber by the names of iNeverB9 managed to dribble the soccer ball from Greasy Grove all the way to Pleasant Park Field and score a goal. When the ball scored, it sadly did not have a goal explosion nor did the score change. I don't know if this was before the actual update where goal explosions were added, but nothing happened either way. The last myth is, do guns change hitboxes? I saw other videos by other YouTubers saying that guns and pickaxes actually deflected sniper bullets and just bullets in general. When I tested this in game, that didn't seem to be the case. All bullets that I shot at the gun and the pickaxe went straight through and didn't even have any effect. The hitbox started exactly at the character's hand on all occasions. Now to be honest, I didn't expect the hitbox to be that accurate, but there are multiple games where hitboxes are just rectangles around the players. But even when you dance in Fortnite, your hitbox changes, so I am surprised by this. It would be pretty cool to shoot the enemy's gun and their gun would actually break down, because if you are in real war and your gun does get shot, you would expect it to be broken because, I mean, literally a bullet hits your gun. So I think they might add that into the game in the future, possibly not, but it would be something cool to add. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, and also subscribe if you are new to the channel. Make sure to comment a myth down below for a chance to have it featured in the next or future Mythbusters episodes, and I will see you guys next time.